Jump, 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 jump. Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of What's Brewing. It's my mission to zero. My name is Giampiero Friso and today I'm with my friends Adrian Gugisberg, that is the president of the Electrification Distribution Solution ABB. Thanks for coming. Thanks a lot for having me, yes, and I'm really curious to see what's brewing here. Yeah, you know, and today we have a special edition, by the way, because uh, today we will taste at the end uh, something that I never tasted in my life, so we need to understand what it's going to be, and it is a special ice Dalcona coffee. I don't know what is it again, but we will see. We will see later on. And you came here. You are the president of the distribution solution that we talk about. Uh, you know how to distribute electricity. And normally, we take this for granted, right? Normally, we we discover the electricity when it doesn't work because when it works, it's something that normally we we must have it, right? But in reality, it's not so easy to. Right. Absolutely. And this is maybe just to introduce a little bit what we do at Distribution Solutions. It's basically, you know all these high power lines, the big yeah. poles, the high voltage distribution, which brings power from the energy generation, from the power plants to the cities. Now, when it comes to the city, it needs to be distributed to all the houses. And that's what we do, the equipment which helps to distribute the energy. Now, basically, it's not that easy thing to do that in a reliable, safe way. Yeah. Just think about, uh, imagine your own home, you put a toaster into the plug and the toaster has maybe a failure. You do not want to have your house completely dark. So you don't. only the switchboard should, one fuse should go out. You want to take the toaster off and then re-energize again. Everything is fine. The same happens in a city. Now think about one failure in a city and the whole city would go dark. That would be a disaster. And that's what we that's do. That's a big issue. And exactly that, that's important all the reliability. We, we, gave, we, we took it for granted, but the reality is not easy. And by the way, it's up to you some, something in real life where you say, oh my goodness, it's missing the electricity and I, I'm in trouble. Yeah, just maybe I give one example. I'm very passionate about skiing. So uh, once, once a year, typically I go with some of my friends, we go for a one day ski trip. It's maybe three years ago, we were on this chairlift and then it stopped. And guess what, you know, after 10 minutes, my colleagues started to make jokes a little bit about me because they know I'm working for ABB. So we are doing all the and stuff like that. Exactly, exactly. After 20 minutes, there was no choking anymore. Then we started a little bit to get worried. Yeah, it gets imagine. cooler, you know, you start to think, okay, how long do I need to stay on this chairlift? But luckily it could get going again. So we were all happy about it. Yeah. But it makes you feel, you know, how vulnerable we are if there is no energy. And by the way, you know, Stopping your ski lift, I'm sure that it was not a great experience, but it's an inconvenience. But uh, in reality, it could be much, much worse. Imagine if you're going to have a data center that's going to stop. Imagine if you are in a surgic room in an hospital and the electricity is going away, what it could happen. Imagine the banks, imagine all this alarm system at your home. So it must be much, much worse than that, right? Absolutely. In the US, if we combine the impact to all the people in the US, it's more than 500 million hours of lost power. Oh, wow. It's a lot. And then if you take just a population of about 300 million people, it's almost two hours per person of lost energy. Now, I think if we go to the US, not in every place you lose power, but there are some places where the people are not very happy with losing power on a regular basis. And I don't think that is happening just in the US. There are many, many countries that it could happen. Absolutely, here. absolutely. Um, to, if, now, just take a couple of examples which we had recently in the news. Spain oh, yeah. Portugal. Almost one week to recover. I mean, in the beginning, you know, when there is a short power outages, for that we have solutions. We have backup generation, Battery. batteries, we have uh, UPS systems. So that's okay for a few hours, but it goes longer, like in Spain it's going to be dark. Or the other example would be Heathrow. Oh, that's remember? another big one, you know, that it's collapsed all the European aviation for a couple of days. Yes, and, and that's just, you know, so quickly, such a big impact. Also, in others, and it's not only in these places, we go, for example, into the Middle East, there we see an exponential growth of severe weather events. And that's something which also comes from the climate change. Yeah. 
So that's where we really need to work. And this, unfortunately, it will continue. That's that's part, or will increase even. Exactly, and that means we have to do something. We have to prepare for it. And now this is bringing out exactly to said to the climate change, the fact that there will be more flooding, more extreme weather condition, more heat waves. The our electrical distribution system need to withstand to this big event, right? Uh, absolutely, and now we just take the bigger picture. I mean, what we need to do, we need to electrify the world. I think the electrical energy is the most sustainable way. And if we think about it, there's so much renewable power now being built up, and that's kind of the thing which needs to happen. And there are also many more applications which are powered by electrical energy. Just take heat pumps, you know, instead of a gas-fired uh, heating, yeah. we're going to have heat pumps. Or instead of have gasoline-driven cars, we have EVs. So it's even getting more and more important. Yeah, and electricity, exactly, is going to be super important also for the climate change, you know, to reduce also the CO2 emission and to electrify, to electrify the world, exactly, as you say. But what is going to be the future of the electricity? What do you yeah, that, think about? That's actually pretty cool. And I must say, you know, this is also part which I would say in our business, we are really at the bright spot. Now, what, what makes it so cool is, I think we are doing the right thing for the future and there is right now a lot of change going on. If, as I said before, all this renewable power coming, a lot of new loads coming, and then we rely on electrical power. We need to make it super resilient. And what is the, what's the future? Make it intelligent. It must become more intelligent. And here comes the play. At the same time, we are talking about AI and we are talking about yeah. you know, smart grid, whatever. Smart grids. Yeah. And that means, you know, smart grid means really that we do this in a smarter way. We kind of balance this in a better way. And that's really exciting. Yeah. And exactly that part is bringing us to the fact that in the future we must have more power with lower emission, as, uh, as also you were saying, with more renewable energy and so on. But in the meantime, this is bringing to the fact that if we will have smart grid, digital grid, digitalization, we will also reduce the cost. Of, of the grid and so the cost for the final consumers right and the industry absolutely you know i call this distribution it's kind of the backbone of the energy transition without that it's not going to work people often talk about the ev cars and talk yeah. about the the solar power but if you don't connect this it's not going to work if you don't have all the infrastructure nothing could happen exactly and if we don't make that infrastructure smart we're gonna need a lot of copper and steel in order to make it happen and that's also not a smart way of doing it that's great so now it's time here to taste this uh, special edition uh, of coffee with this heis dalcona coffee that's coming from south korea by the way so the the, the the game is we're gonna taste it and after that we're gonna rate it okay okay and you call it a game uh, I don't know, let's see if it's going to be a game or whatever, let's say, but let's try, I guess that you need to do like this, uh, you can mix if you want. Okay, okay. It's okay. up to you. Okay. So that needs a bit of courage here. Right. You, you can drink and heat in the same time, you know, the bottom. The taste is actually it's quite, it's quite good, the taste is actually quite good, I'll give it the four. It's more than a drink, is, is a lunch, but Let's say a tree, you know, just because it's something weird, but I, normally I like it. I'm curious for new things, you know. Now that we drink this uh, beautiful uh, Dalcona iced coffee, what's a sip of wisdom for the discussion that we have had today? I would say, you know, for all of us, I mean, we rely every day on energy and the electrical energy becomes really the most relevant energy we have. So I think it's really good to be aware something needs to happen. It's not going to get easier and simpler. And that's on one hand, it's a challenge. On the other hand, it's very good news, at least for us in our business. It's so exciting. We can innovate, we can do new things. And we have all this power. We have all this uh, innovation power in, in our company. It's a really cool place to be. And then the other part, we do something really good for the planet. The more we electrify, the more we do this, the more sustainable this planet will become. And that's, I think, is such a good moment and we can be proud of. I cannot be more than agree to you. I think that electrification is the place to be. And we are so lucky to be in such an industry that uh, is creating a huge amount of innovation in order, in order to have more power with lower emissions. 
Thanks again, Adrian, for being with me today and together with all of you. I want to thank you so much for participating to this new episode and I'm looking forward to see you next time. Thank you so much. Thank you.